I think it's safe to say that your 20s are the most important decades in your life because you'll not only discover a lot of things about yourself, but also determine what you want to spend the rest of your life doing. It means that the path you want to spend your entire life following is dependent on the choices you make in your 20s. According to Candace Bushnell, an American author, journalist, happiness comes out of being willing to do your work in your 20s to find out who you are, what you love. Your goal should be to build a successful life for yourself early enough so that you can retire early enough, say in your 40s, and spend the rest of your life enjoying all that you've created for yourself. You don't want to spend most of your life working and earning until you're about 70 or even 80 years old because you refuse to make specific life decisions early enough. Kevin Ngo, a motivational speaker said, If you don't make time to work on creating the life you want, you're eventually going to be forced to spend a lot of time dealing with a life you don't want. Again, your 20s are vital, which is why you need to learn a few lessons that can help you make certain wise decisions to help you succeed in life. So in this video, I'll share with you three lessons you should learn in your 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Do not compare yourself with anyone, neither should you compete. Brene Brown, an American professor and author, said, Owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing we'll ever do. The first thing to remember and constantly remind yourself about when it comes to building a successful life is, it is all about you, self-growth, your dreams, visions, etc., not others. You should be your priority. If you are genuinely concerned about your personal growth, it isn't about what others say about you, what they think about your goals or dreams. Neither is it about their journey or what they are doing with their lives. We all have our journeys and choices, so why compare yourself to them? You need to accept yourself, including your shortcomings and weaknesses. There is no perfect person anywhere in the world. The earlier you got this into your head, the better for you. Also, there is only one you. Every other person is different. They are not you. Neither are they trying to be you. So, instead of trying to be like others, just be you. Stick to your values. Do not let society or others dictate what you should look like or what life goals to choose. Do not let them dictate your self-worth and happiness in life. Sean Mehta, an author and entrepreneur said, Your life is your own unique journey. It is unlike a journey any other person before you or after you will ever take. Apart from resisting the temptation to compare your journey with others, you should also avoid competing with them. Your only focus should be on your growth. The only person you should try to be better than is who you were yesterday, last week, last month, and last year. According to Zen Shin quote, a flower does not think of competing to the flower next to it. It just blooms. So, you owe it to yourself to develop yourself and make an effort each day to be better than you were the previous day. That's all. 2. Be open to failure. Holden the Soul said, The path to whatever your notion of success is will likely not be linear. Don't take continuous personal growth for granted. Just because you're older doesn't necessarily mean you're wiser. Your 20s will be full of failures. Let them happen and learn as you go. Most 20-something adults think that to be successful in life, you must have everything figured out. You ought to know what you want and go for it. Okay, while this is true to a large extent, they fail to realize or give themselves room to make mistakes, forgetting how they began the journey of their lives to that point. Yes, you should know the exact things that you want in life. Maybe not have the full picture just yet, but you should have life goals that will set the pace of your life. Once you have done that, you need a plan that can help you achieve those goals. However, your plan should be flexible enough to give room for failure, and also strategies to help you pick up from where you stopped. Here's the thing about giving yourself the chance to make mistakes. You'll learn what is important and what isn't. You will also be able to point out effective strategies as far as achieving your goals is concerned. When you know this, you can take the lessons you've learned to build any other goal and succeed effortlessly because, in the first place, you paid attention to the process, not just the final result. According to Anne Brashears, an American young adult novelist, I look back on my 20s. It's supposed to be the prime of your life, the most vital, the most beautiful. But you're making your critical decisions and sometimes your most critical mistakes. So, don't be too hard on yourself. Failure is a part of the process. 3. Learn how to build the right relationships. Oprah Winfrey, an American talk show host and one of the world's richest women said, Surround yourself with people who are only going to lift you higher. The kind of relationships we keep around is vital when it comes to the achievement of our goals. Okay, I know you've heard this over and over again, but I'm going to say it to you again. You are the average of five people you spend most of your time with. Chimron.
I'll tell you why you need good people around you. You see, life isn't meant to be a solo trip. You need the help and support of others from time to time. You need motivation and you need ideas and people that can also help you execute them. You need feedback and constructive criticism. For any of this to happen, you need people that you can rely on and trust. Building the right relationships will also help you develop yourself. Imagine you have a group of friends that all have goals and plans to help them achieve their goals. So every time you all hang out, you talk about some ideas that you think might work. They also talk about some of the things that they have been up to, including some of the ways or measures they've been taking to achieve their goals. At the end of each conversation, you will always feel motivated and inspired to keep pushing, especially when things get challenging. On the other hand, if you have a group of friends that do nothing else but talk about trending G's, latest devices and how they can't wait to get one so that they can show it off, etc., then you just might never achieve your goals. You need to be around people that remind you and inspire you to keep at your dreams because they are equally doing so. Also, it will help to have a network of influential friends to help you make some big businesses or career moves. So, you don't need too many friends, you only need a few good friends. Note. Networking or building relationships with people who are valuable and have so much to offer cannot be one-sided. Value has to be offered from both ends. Otherwise, it won't take long to destroy the relationship. Summary Your 20s are an essential decade of your life. So, learning to make the right decision at this period of your life can go a long way in determining your success. So, the three lessons you should learn in your 20s to help you succeed are 1. Do not compare yourself with others and do not compete with them. 2. Be open-minded to failure. We learn better by making mistakes. 3. Build the right relationships. You are the average of the 5 people close to you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.